okay YouTube um, just got done making a video on my wheel horse and I'll get, give more videos of that right now this is my project of priority because this is the only car I have since my Buick has been sold no Buicks here but anyway well my old Bonneville got broke into got my stereo stolen out of it that was fun well luckily I had an old backup sitting in the garage taking up space so I just figured I'd use it because they stole my 212's out of it I'll show you what I got now I was running 600 watts but uh, I'm cut down to 4 now look at there Sirwin Vega on a 400 watt Jensen of all things I mean, it sounds pretty good but I'm tone deaf so this is kinda hard for me to hear I'm used to my 212's I can actually hear it I know my car is dirty so give me a break here show you the inside pretty clean it is not an SSEI for those who will say oh that's not an SSEI it is not I will tell you this right now it is not an SSEI so that in my seat is an iPod dock I plug my iPhone into it listen to some mp3s driving down the road it's pretty cool give you a little peek at the edge of my amp that's all I can get yes it is dirty I haven't cleaned it out all winter ah. there is the edge of my amp it is a Jensen 400 watt nothing special just gets the job done for now until I can get something bigger and better I am on a fixed income after all so it uh, kind of hard it, I just took really bad hard on a hit on that show you some engine and it is a GM I've got to rattle the front end to get it to work to get the pot hood to pop like you there 3800 series 2 good running motor it's the original engine uh, it has been rebuilt, but I tell you what, it runs like it's brand new. There's my power cable. Oh my gosh, it's chewed up. Look at that. I have to fix that. Pretty clean under the engine bay. Not bad, not bad. Doesn't leak nothing, doesn't drip nothing. I mean, doesn't do nothing. Now, my acceleration video I got a bit a uh, personal message about this uh, well <laughs> he said the guy asked me does that thing have a cold air induction no obviously not well here's what I did let me uh, try to make my flashlight stay here I took the air box out everything cut all the little louvers out of it with a Dremel tool that you cut the little rotary tool put a bigger hole here behind this there's a like a massive hole there cut all the little sound deadening things out of there and replaced it with a K&N filter this improved everything man I get I can get upwards to 30 something on the high 30 something miles a gallon on the highway and uh, about 25 in the city not bad for a big old car it weighs like four grand yes it is evergreen iridescent pearl pretty rare around here I couldn't I haven't seen one yet that has this paint coat on it yet but uh, there's the video of my Bonneville I'll post a couple more when it's daylight that and when my hands aren't freezing cold and I'll have to post it when it's clean. But uh, take it easy, guys. Have a good one.